Hello everybody, now AFM here, and we're going to be doing this uh, very chill, de-stressing hour 2 of uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I played hour 1 in Arabic, so I decided to switch it up a bit and uh, play this hour 2 in English and see how the response is. Uh, the reason I'm saying de-stress is I'm in the middle of a, a very stressful situation right now. I got a uh, dissertation thesis that I need to finish. And uh, my daughter's been sick for a while with the nursery bugs and all that, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all third, thir they call it third world problems, thir third world problems actually. So I'm sure a lot of people out there are living in their own bubbles with their own problems and own stresses and all whatnot, you know. You know, it's very hard to uh, put yourself in everybody else's shoes because every each person outside in the world has their own stressors and their own... Uh, things to deal with and obviously what I'm dealing with is nothing compared to a lot of what other people are dealing with So I'm gonna be playing Mario Odyssey for an hour. Just de-stress. I'm glad I have something to de-stress on at least and uh, I've just reached the Sand Kingdom and basically uh, Everything has been put on ice and I need to find out what's going on uh, last thing I wanted to do to get the uh, one of the uh, moons is uh, disguising myself as this Mexican person, Mexican Mario. I, I, I think this is a tribute to uh, one of his old costumes, uh, according to uh, a couple of artworks that I've seen, and enter this place. There we go. And inside, they open the door for me, and let's see what happens. I like the fact there are a lot of moons hidden, and, and it, it really, I feel the game that it's sort of inspired by Breath of the Wild's... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. I, I love Mexican food, by the way. That's the only culture that I know about Mexico. I've been to the Mayan ruins in my honeymoon, so that was cool. That was easy. I thought, we're gonna get, I thought it was going to be harder than that. But yeah, as you can see, these moons are sort of little dots everywhere on the world, and they seem to be really inspired by Z Breath of the Wild's Koroks. Maybe not as uh, obnoxious as the Koroks, but at the same time, they 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 do put them like in uh, certain er in areas that you not expect. And at the same time, uh, I found myself uh, trying to do a lot of things um, differently uh, than what your typical Mario. Usually, with Mario games, they sell you the mission and then you go ahead for it. There are a couple of hidden stars here and there, but in this case, no. You just have one story mission over there. And uh, moons, just if you just keep exploring, you'll find what you need to be finding. So he's telling me to go that way. I think I'm gonna be. I, I tried exploring uh, the uh, outskirts of the city. Didn't find anything in particular except for that rock over there. I don't know what it does yet. And I'm supposed to be also finding, according to the uh, uh, what's it called, the parrot told me there's go to next to five cactuses or something of that sort to find a moon. Uh, I'm still not used to the controls yet with Mario. I'm trying to f figure out his uh, uh, the way to uh, go from place to place. This new Sonic the Hedgehog type move, the rolling. So basically what you do is to explore, just hit everything with the hat and <laughs> you're about to find a moon here or there. The soundtrack is kind of cool as well. I don't know who the composer is. Is it, is it Mahito Yokota? I'm not quite sure. The guy who did Galaxy? Maybe. There we go. Some hidden stuff here. I have a feeling that the coins will come in handy. Uh, okay, what do we do here? Let's see. Oh, I, I remember this thing came from uh, uh, Mario 3D World. It has something like that, Mario 3D Land. So there's a marsh here. There's something over there. Oh, there's actually something over there. Look at that. I didn't see that. I wonder if I could go check it out, or I should go check it out, I'm not quite sure. What else do we have? There's some dude over there dancing. There's a nice survey around the area, see whether there's any other hidden moons are going on here. Uh, there's some platforming up there, what else do we have? That's the main mission, I'm obviously not going to be going to that except later. I'm going to be exploring the outskirts more. Just see what's going- oh look! There's a moon! How do we get that? How do I get up? So there has to be a way to get up there. We're not sure how yet. Okay, do some tricky jumping. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I read that somewhere in Kotaku that, <laughs> like, tricky jumping that you could, uh, in a way, like, transport to your hat by throwing it. No. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, something like that, but uh, apparently that's not the way to get that, that, that moon yet. Let's keep exploring and see what we find. Oh, I didn't flat them. What are these mini Goombas called, by the way? Like, are they mini Goombas? That's the official name? I'm not quite sure. This guy doesn't want to die. I'm trying to flatten him. <laughs> My god. I love the guitars and the soundtrack. That's kind of cool. Let's try to get up there, see what happens. Let's see if I can make that. I just want to be careful. Okay, I thought I would die. It's just quicksand. Thought it was instant death. Oh look, there's some stuff here. Yeah, I love these classic segments. So far I just uh, uh, found one, which is in the First Kingdom. Oh. It's really hard controlling with the Joy-Con because you're used to like sideways controls with uh, Mario games. Obviously, there are the uh, what do you call them? The Galaxy games. These, those aren't. I'm getting my butt handed to me here. Okay, I think you could. Uh... Oh, nice! That was an easy moon. Where'd it go? Okay. So apparently this is sort of like a tutorial that tells you you could uh, capture the uh, bullet bills. That's what we're going to try doing. And that will lead us to our moon, obviously. Nice. So I think that's the way to uh, basically get to that moon over there. Capturing one of these bullet bills and trying to get there. Let's see if I can do that. I can shake the drunken to accelerate more. Hopefully I don't blow up before I get there. Nice. Very nice. That's cool. And then I'm gonna blow up here. There we go. So there's a limit to what you could do with the bullet bear there. So we got two moons so far. Good stuff. And apparently enemies respawn. <laughs> I wonder if I can get up there without dying. Let's see if I can do that. No, I can't. There's something here, though. There we go. See, they're, they're more littered than I expected, you know? I, I was sort of expecting a... You know, the, the typical usual Mario experience, like... You get seven moons or ten moons per level. And you get more levels, but apparently not. Which is... I, I don't mind this, actually. But it's very different than what I'm used to. There's a very tricky jump in which you hold your Y button and then while holding the Y button you do a long jump and hit the hat. It's a bit tricky.
No, it's supposed to jump through them, huh? Okay. Fair enough. Let's see if I can do these. There we go. I think so. Let, do I have a map somewhere here? Yeah, that's that's where I'm supposed to go. I'm not going to be going there. For the sake of brevity and exploration, I'm going to be doing more than that. Although I'm pretty sure once you finish the story mission, uh, you unlock more of the level, you could say. Nice, I needed that. Mario, great. Uh, nice checkpoints, I needed that. Can't do anything here yet. Uh, obviously, I think when I beat that boss, or get the, the main mission, um, it will sort of defreeze these ice packs and unlock more stuff to do. At least, at least that's what I think. Yeah, I'm being a perfectionist and trying to get all the coins. I'm thinking that maybe if I get the coins in the pillar, I get... It opens up a moon for me of some sort. I think that's how you have to start thinking with this Mario game. What does it say here? The ground pound, yeah, I know that. Uh, obviously, my controls are a bit rusty because, like I said, I'm not really used to Joy-Con control. Even though they, Nintendo recommends this type of control because you, you could... Uh, Control your hat easier with the Joy-Con. We'll see. I'll keep using this for now. Okay, I'll let the Bullet Bill destroy these. Come here, Bullet Bill. I could also capture them, but... Uh, let's do the hard way. The Mario Galaxy way. No moons, huh? I'm getting my butt handed to me, man. Yeah, Mario is the perfect de-stressor that I need right now. Nice. Very cool. Let's chew the bullet bill again and get the moon that's over there. Oh, so when you get a moon, you uh, your heart's refill. I didn't know that. That's interesting. I didn't notice that before, actually. There's something over there. Nice, I'm doing very well. So far, so good. Ow! Come on, Bullet Bill. Screwed up my fun, man. Okay, now I can't do anything. Let me... Yeah, there's that tricky jump that I just did. That's that's really difficult to pull off, by the way. Oh, the Bullet Bill's coming here. So, maybe I'll capture one. And try going to that area over there. I don't know if I can actually make it, but let's see. Is there any way in? Maybe I have to... Uh-oh, I'm gonna die, right? Yep. <laughs> so there's poison down. Uh, okay, there's the 10 coin penalty for dying. That's new, because this is my, that, I think that was my first death. And the coins respawn, which is interesting. Well, why not? I'll take it.
So, okay, looking for any clues here. The f are there some NPCs standing around here? What's this guy gonna say? Don't touch that stuff, maybe you can write something across it. The bullet bill? <laughs> We'll see. Maybe there's some sort of like animal I could ride. I've seen I've seen these uh, or lions or whatever sphinxes in the trailer, and I think that's the way to get up there. Yeah, that's the only way. I don't think I'll be doing anything else here. There we go. Very tricky jump. I, I like it though. It's a, you gotta be an expert to do that. Basically what you do is, I don't know if I can explain it correctly, when you throw your hat, you press the uh, ground pod button and Y in the same time, give or take, and basically Mario will just jump to his hat. What's this? What is this? Oh look! Lizard, can I get it? Nope, can't get it. Still don't know what this is yet. Sorry, they found my mutt. Can I sit? No. There's no way to get that moon up there yet. I wish there was a way to uh, actually mark stuff on your map so you could just know where you're doing. But it's not like Zelda. Hmm, that looks very, very suspicious. Very suspicious. You know, in old Mario, you would think that that's a death trap. See, but with this game, it's quite different. You know what it reminds me of? That that, that uh, secret area here? Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the Mario 3 level uh, in Bowser's cast, Bowser's uh, final level, that World 8. Uh, there is one level in which you have to you deliberately go through the quicksand so you can uh, find a secret area that it will take you to I think it went up or something and you skip the whole level I don't know if you guys remember that level it's a, it's a tough level but if you get that quick quicksan skip you could actually uh, skip through most of it very slippery by the way okay thank you I gotta be very, very careful, I'm, because the floors are quite slippery. I wonder if I get up there. There's a way to get up. No? Yeah, it's kind of tough because of the... Let's, let's play it safe and just uh, platform our way naturally. No, I was gonna get flattened. Oh wow. This is very, very tricky. Well, not as tricky as your typical Mario titles, but you know, get what I mean. Oh, there's a batch of coins up there, man. How do I get that? I'll know later. Should I get back to it? Maybe. Hmm. Contemplating now. There has to be a way to get those, right? Let's see, let's see. I'll try my luck. I think that's the way to do it. Don't go up. No. There we go. Oh no. Well, I screwed up. I think that has to be the way to do it. Maybe. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be careful. These loose Joy-Cons control style is holding me off. Yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm being... Uh, I'm also trying to rush myself through. 
because I'm very impatient. That's weird. Man, I really look like an amateur in this footage. <laughs> it's as if I'm, I haven't been playing Mario games since Super Mario Bros. 1. Oh, maybe I can just do the hat jump. I forgot about that. Just pull my hat up there and then just jump up. there unless I do something very drastic or tricky or there's some sort of secret to get up, getting up there that I don't know about yet whoa 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 whoa, whoa Mario run yay okay let's move on and see what happens Oh, hello. How are you doing? I call it Jaxi. You want to be a ride? Let's wait for a bit. One second. There we go. Treasure of Jaxi Ruins. Well, there's the true treasure in actually over there, but I don't know how to get it. Wow. All that coins for me? Thank you. I wonder what are these? I'm still not sure what are these. Weird. Let's let's ask a ride from this dude. Inverted turn it break dismount. Okay. Let's see what happens to this dude. Ooh. This guy's fast, man. Very hard to control too. Jaxi, huh? I wonder what happens if I dismount. For example, let's dismount here. He waits for me? Good, very nice. So we could just see what's going on and try exploring. The oasis has... what's this? There has to be something here. Yeah, I knew it because these birds were flying around there, so there has to be something where the birds gather. Mm, frozen ruins. Uh, frozen... Uh, Oasis, so don't think I could do anything here yet un until it unfreezes. Anything up there? No. There's, the, there's that Mexican thing again. I don't know what it does. We'll have to figure that out. Oh, you call for Jaxi in these areas. Interesting. Okay, cool. Now I know. We'll have to come back here later and see if we can unfreeze the ruins, uh, the uh, oasis. I'm, I'm saying ruins. Anything here at the outskirts of the world? Yeah, I'm being very too exploratory here. Feels like Zelda to me. <laughs> okay, Jaxi. Let's get out of here. Ow, come on, man. Calm down, calm down. He is very fast. 
Oh, I'm stuck here. I'm actually stuck here. Ow. So I have to, yeah, I'll call Jaxi here. Oh, there's something up there, and I just noticed. I was gonna leave the area and, don't, and didn't find that secret there. So how do I get up the tree? Climb. Duh. <laughs> okay, dude. Where, where? Oh. Oh, okay. It's one of these. I'm not gonna make it, right? Oh, this is uh, kind of hard. Let's try again. It's hard because, it, again, the, the Joy-Con controls are a bit iffy with me. I'm not used to it yet. See? I'm just falling down like an idiot. Nice, I did it. Yay. Taking notes, jump on the palm. Haha. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else here for now. Not until I get the oasis, at least, or open, unlock that oasis. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that pyramid over there because that's what Jaxi told me to go for sightseeing. So I'll do that, and then go for the boss moons over there. Oh. Let's talk to this guy. A sombrero Koopa Troopa. Uh, the chase walking. Walk. Oh, it's like Koopa the Quick. Similar, but it's slower. He's Koopa the Slow here. Okay. So what do we do with this dude? The rules is cake. Our cake. To walk around and follow the arrows. Okay. They all disappear after a bit. Really? Oh, wow. Okay, then. I wonder how I did. Oh my god. <laughs> Screwed up badly here. Let's try that again. Gotta make a perfect circle. Okay. Now I'll, I'll reference Jaxi. So we'll go in front of Jaxi and between these bushes. That should be good. Let's see. Not bad, but... Oh, I did very well, actually. Thank you! Bow! So I got one power wound left. Then I can't, I can't explore anymore. Let's go to the pyramid ruins. I can't get the ones over here, definitely. I need to jump from the ruins, I think. Yeah, I'm just surveying the area. Let me dismount. Where are you going, Jaxi? Dude, calm down, man. I'm gonna dismount Jaxi and see what's going on. Because he is very, very unwildly. Yeah, there's. I think everything is frozen for now. I'll have to go through that story mission first and then see what happens. What is that light? Oh, there's something there. On second thought. Yep, thank you. Lost in the luggage. Oh, wait. I don't I think I could get more. It's just I think the uh, the counter up there is basically signifying that uh, these are the moons that I need. Oh, oh, there's three power moons in there, but these are the moons that I need to get out of the, the, uh, the place. Multi-moon, that we can't get to yet. I have to unfreeze the place first. Get to the next world. Hi. 
I got a custom writing, but it looks like this mess is not going anywhere, burr. There has to be a way to unfreeze all this, but nothing yet. There's something there. There's like a hawk or something. Oh, I thought I could uh, do something with the sheep, but apparently not. Can I ride the sheep? Weird. Very strange. Maybe I'll lead the sheep to where the hawk is and let the hawk eat the sheep. <laughs> that is very, very... <laughs> that line of thinking is... Uh, I don't know if it's something to consider, but I'll keep that in mind. There was a hawk here somewhere, but I don't see him anymore. Ooh, look at this. Let's see what's in here. I'm not going to that story mission until I see what's going on. Run, run, run. Yeah. This will be more challenging than usual because... Oh wow, look at that. I gotta be very careful here because there's a lot of uh, poisonous, la poisonous lava, can you say? Is this poisonous lava? Is it te technically poisonous lava? I'm not sure. What can you call that? Poisonous goo? Poisonous muck? Get out of there, get out of there. Ow. Got out of there at the wrong, wrong time. I'm trying to get all the coins and see if that will actually get me a moon. Nope, it doesn't. I'm gonna die. Very badly. Come on, dude. Gotta get out of here. Okay, almost there. Get out of there. Uh, oh my god, I was gonna die. Wow, I accelerated in the last minute there. Made it. Oh, nice. There's the moon. Woohoo! Doing very well. See, I'm actually getting more than what I need to get out of here, so. I think I'm gonna keep doing that, so. Just to see how things go. Hmm. What is that? Like a scare scroll of some sort. Uh, just being sure. Being Thor, they don't miss anything. Is there anything behind the ruins? There is something there, actually. There is like a small gate. Oh, wow. Should I, do I get the coins or... Hmm. Very tempting. No. I want to see what's behind the ruins. There's something there. I knew it, see? I actually could have done both. I could have gotten the coins and, and uh, went behind the ruins, but I was just afraid that if I go down, my progress is wasted. Apparently not, though. Let's keep exploring. Oh, there's something here. No? Well, I thought there was something. Apparently not. I'm still looking for the clue that the... Parrot gave me the five cactus type thing, five cacti or whatever. What's this? Okay, that's my story mission. Nothing I could see here. Oh, there's that dude over there. I'll go to him now. And there's some sort of passageway over here. And there is a moon marking over there that I don't know what it means. This area seems sealed off. Hmm. Bullet bill, maybe? Yeah, it looks like some tricky platforming here. That laser thing is from uh, Mario Galaxy, I remember it. Is that five cactuses? Maybe. I'm looking for a way in here, but I don't find any. I'm not seeing anything yet. Okay, to be continued. Now, how do I get out of here? Uh. 
Okay. To be continued. We'll we'll get to that later. Let's see this first. Yep, secret passageway. What the hell is this? Oh, I've seen this in the trailer. Yeah, okay, okay. Put off and take off shades. What's over here then? He's so slow. Oh, okay. It's just basically I just need to do this for a temporary basis to know where I'm going. Yeah. Put off the shades. Okay, now I know what to do. You gotta be careful though. Yeah. Apparently this is all gonna be like this. Yep, yep. I knew it. It's kind of creative. I'll, I'll give them that. Okay, be careful. There's a gap here. Jump through it. There. Very nice. Very nice. There's the moon. How do I get to it? Okay, got it. Easy enough. Oops. Gotta be careful with these jumps. I'm pressing the uh, L earlier than usual. He's running away from me. Where is he going? Where are you gonna go, man? There we go. Secret pathway completed. Oh, Jax is gone. Well, that sucks. Oh no, my beautiful sheep. Ah, so that's where I get the sheep due to... Okay. Thank you for telling me. That's one sheep. Come on, dude, come on. Go back to your owner, please. Ow! The sheep pushed me. Come on, man. Go back to your owner. Oh, so this is kind of tricky. I gotta herd the sheep like a dog back without him hitting these. Great. That's one. I remember the other one was next to the uh, ruins over there. I'll, I'll go there and try to Heard it back to its own. There's the number one. Yeah, number two. He's gonna hit the cactus. Yep. And then hit the other cactus. There we go. That's number two. Where is number three? Has to be in proximity, right? Shouldn't be too far. Oh, there's something over there. Five cactuses. That has to be it. That has to be the place. I, I'm have, I have a suspicious feeling. There's there's something here. See? But I don't know how to how to maybe hit the cactus. Maybe the ground pound next to it? No? Yeah, it's this it's this moon that the parrot was hinting me to, but I just don't know how to, what to do. No, there's no way I could get it now. To to be continued as well. Maybe up here. Never noticed these before. Yeah, these are five cactuses. Man, that's annoying. And there's that hawk, flying around like an idiot. Hawk, come here! Can I capture it? It'd be cool if I can. So it occasionally swipes by there, so I have to go up there. Yep. 
Don't know where else can I meet it. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Now all I need to do is look for the third sheep. I forgot this move. Maybe I could do that to the cactus? I'm not sure. Roll down the hill, press Y, be able to roll. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, that's a move. So roll down the hill with that, and then this will go faster. Maybe I'll just hit the cactus on impact like that? I'm not sure. There's a sphinx over there. Let me go see what's going on here. Greetings. Can you answer my riddle? What does a thieving monster desire from this land? I think it's the uh, ring. Thank you. Oh wow. Wow dude. That is some insane treasure over here. Why are they giving me a lot of coins? Now I'm not trying to... Now I'm... Uh, I'm uh, sort of not skeptical, but I'm now wondering why do I need coins in this game? The only thing that I have in mind is you could buy stuff from the shop with the coins and obviously you could get power wounds like that with some shops. The other thing is this penalty, but the penalty is only 10 coins. So why do you need a lot of coins? I'm, now I'm very, very curious if this will lead to something later. There's something here. Okay, that was sort of a shortcut to the story mission. I know it's gonna unlock things for me, but at the same time, you know, I'm rather curious to see what I could do. There's the... No, I thought I found the third sheep, but no. Apparently not. I'm just looking for that third sheep. I want to try rolling down the hill as well. That's something that I didn't do yet. Is it... Okay, yeah. It's kind of interesting. I don't know what use it is for now. Mm -hmm. Also wondering if I could go to top certain hills and ground pound when I'm able to unlock anything. Or get a moon for some sort. Where's that third sheep, man? I'm, I looked everywhere. I can't find it. Could be that the hawk is the only way to get to the other side if I could capture it. But I need to go up again. I don't know if it's worth doing that. Let me see. I'll try doing that. Just out of curiosity's sake, and wait up a bit. Shouldn't be too hard to get back to where I was up there. Yeah. Except oh, there's another moon there! I just noticed! Dude, I'm glad I came back here. I just noticed. I'm glad I came back here, man. Yay. Bow! Thank you. Lucky me. So there's a pro tip for you with Mario Odyssey. 
Always go back to areas that you think you completed. Just for the sake of seeing if you got everything or not the first time through. <laughs> and the, you notice also that the coins are respawning. So they are giving you the incentive to gather them again. There has to be a reason for that. Where's that hawk? I'm gonna wait here for a bit and see if I could... Lizards. I'm gonna just... Okay, if they give me the incentive, I might as well get all the coins. I'm trying to get the lizard without it noticing me. Okay. Hmm. Waiting here, seeing what's going to happen. Oh, Mario's cold. Poor Mario. <laughs> See, I, 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 I can hear him. Just can't see him yet. He's even not in the distance for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> 